Breaking tonight, new fallout and a growing scandal for Donald Trump as the Republican frontrunner gets blasted by the media, angry Democrats, even the White House, for failing to defend the president from suggestions that Mr. Obama is a Muslim. Welcome to our Kelly File special on the media in 2016. I'm Megan Kelly. We have live pictures coming back tonight from Greenville, South Carolina, where most of the Republican field showed up for the Heritage Action Forum. This is a key gathering of conservative voters. Most of the field, that is, except Donald Trump. He canceled earlier today after an ugly moment at a town hall last night that has become the biggest story in the country today. If you have not seen it, here is what happened when Mr. Trump opened the floor to questions in Rochester, New Hampshire. We have a problem in this country. It's called Muslims. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. We need this first question. Certificate this is the man. First question. But anyway, we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. Well, the campaign started taking incoming almost immediately. And by this morning, the Trump campaign put out a statement that reads, quote, the media wants to make this issue about Obama. The bigger issue is that Obama is waging a war against Christians in this country. They need support and their religious liberty is at stake. That satisfied no one. And before the day was done, both the White House and Hillary Clinton had joined in on the debate. He knew or he should have known that what that man was asking was not only way out of bounds, it was untrue. If that person had been in my event, I would have called him out on it. And I would have said from the very beginning, that has no place in a political discussion like the one we're trying to have here. And not only is it out of place and wrong, it is totally factually untrue. Mr. Trump isn't the first Republican politician to countenance these kinds of views in order to win votes. In fact, that's precisely what every Republican presidential candidate is doing when they decline to denounce Mr. Trump's cynical strategy because they're looking for those same votes. We have a powerful lineup tonight with Chris Steyerwalt, Howie Kurtz, and Senator Marco Rubio, who just made some news on this story. But we want to start with Andy Dean. He's the former president of Trump Productions and worked with Mr. Trump for seven years. Andy, thank you for being here tonight. So thank you. What is officially the defense being offered by the Trump campaign on this? Well, look, I, I think it was a question that was asked at a town hall forum, and Don, as you can tell, kind of shrugged his shoulders and laughed a little bit because it was a pretty aggressive question. But as far as what Donald thinks, I mean, we all know that President Obama went to Reverend Jeremiah Wright's church, and what religion that is, I, I'm not sure because we remember Reverend Wright saying, Goddamn America, that's in the Bible. I've read the Bible. I have not seen that passage yet. So I think more than anything, there's just confusion on our end as, why, as to why one tiny question is some sort of big media controversy right now. You know, it's, it's because the guy, well, a couple of reasons. Number one, he seemed to be condemning Muslims as a group as opposed to radical Muslims. Number two, he said that Barack the Obama... The questioner was, not Donald Trump. Yeah, the the questioner was, not Donald Trump. Well, the, right, exactly. And then number two, he said, the questioner, that Barack Obama is a Muslim and that he's not a citizen of this country. And Donald Trump did not correct him well, or we, challenge him on either We know one. he's a citizen. Well, that's not correct. We know that Barack Obama is a citizen of this country. One of the reasons why we have definitive proof is that Donald Trump got Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate. Why didn't he say and that? once he produced that, there's been no controversy since. And it is, it, Megan, for a second here, it's pretty impressive if you look at Donald Trump's pure negotiating skill that nobody on planet Earth was able to produce this document until Donald turned this so into an in issue. So then he's in the best position and then to turn Obama around to that man and say, we know he's a citizen, sir. We know that because I pushed for him to release it, and he did. And that, and that question has been resolved, period. Let's move on. Okay. Well, Megan, he could have said that, but by that exact same logic, think of this. Why didn't Barack Obama, according to that same logic, stand up at Jeremiah Wright's church and say, hey, Jeremiah, well, that's a not deflection. goddamn America. That's America a isn't. No, no, it's the exact same no, point. No, it isn't. Barack What's Obama's not running for office. Donald Trump is. Sorry, he wasn't running for office in 2007, and 
in he's, 2003. See, Jeremiah Wright office. didn't say that. He won the office, and he's now the sitting president. So we, Correct. We, that, that, that fish has swum. <laughs> that ship has sailed. Okay, and but it's a, parallel, it's a parallel argument. Megan, I'm sorry. This well, that's is a, deflection, a rough night, that I guess. Is a deflection. I, that's not making any sense. That's a deflection. It's not a deflection. With, it's with an exact parallel. Well, you seem to be dodging. Are you uncomfortable on this issue? Why can't you answer whether... What is it? Megan, please get specific. I, okay, I will. Why didn't Donald Trump okay. look at him and say he is not a Muslim, he is an American citizen, I'm the man who made him produce his birth certificate? I think that could have been an answer as to why, you know, when Donald's answering questions at a town hall, he doesn't give the perfect politically correct answer at every moment to satisfy the media. You know, I, I, I'm not a genius. I can't figure that out. That's okay. That's a reasonable response. All the stuff about Thank why didn't you. Barack Obama stand up is a deflection. We got to it eventually. No, Andy, it's not. It was you. an exact. Par it's an, a parallel argument, actually, okay. Megan. I'll let and the when we rewatch this. We'll see that. Okay, <laughs> I'll look great. forward to Let's doing that. just that later. Joining me now with more reaction, Fox News it. digital politics editor Chris Dyerwald and host of Fox News Media Buzz Howard Kurtz. Hi, guys. So, uh, it's it all relates somehow back to Obama in Jeremiah Wright's church, Chris. That's what this story is really about. Well, now, I will say this, the, the, the long arc of this story definitely includes the 2008 campaign. Obviously. Uh, and, it def and it definitely includes, uh, there was a candidate. Her name was Hillary Rodham Clinton. And We're gonna she was We're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to get to okay. that. We're going to get right. to that. But the point is, what the, the, the Democrats and their hypocrisy on this is a separate matter. We're going to get to that in a minute. What we are focused on here is whether this is a legitimate dust-up, whether Donald Trump should have handled this differently, or what... Is this a legitimate area of inquiry that the campaign should be speaking to explicitly? The way that it was framed by the White House and by Hillary Clinton is not, because they would not be satisfied unless Donald Trump got up and said that Barack Obama is, is C.S. Lewis and Billy Graham all rolled into one <laughs> and the greatest Christian uh, since uh, <laughs> Thomas Aquinas and this marvelous thing and, and all of this stuff and wept, wept aloud that he was questioned. But from a point of... <laughs> you, sir, are inappropriate. But right. But from a point of political practicality, what Donald Trump should have been able to do was quickly say, eh, as he did to Jeb Bush when he leaned into the microphone and he went, nope, uh, do a Trumpian response to this guy to make it clear off the top. No, we're not doing this here. This is not what we're going to do. It you know why? Because this is what happens when you don't tell that guy, nope, he says he's a Christian, okay, but, he produced but, the birth but certificate. But the reason, the reason many believe Donald Trump gave that guy a pass is because he is on record. He is on record for years now as having raised some of these very same questions himself. I refer you just by one example back to this exchange he had on Fox News in 2011. He may have one, but there's something on that person, maybe religion, maybe it says he's a Muslim, I don't know, maybe he doesn't want that, or he may not have one. But I will tell you this, if he wasn't born in this country, it's one of the great scams of uh, all absolutely. time. So if you are not just the birther, but if you're like the thunder birther, uh, if you are the <laughs> Thor of birthers, uh, and he has never fully recanted of it, right? So uh, right. He's, been pressed, he's been pressed about it several times during this presidential run. Recently. And he, recently, and he basically has said, in answer to the question one time, he said, well, he produced a birth certificate, Mr. Trump. What about that? And he said, well, if you believe that, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. So it's possible that it's a forgery? Huh? Having said all that, Howie, having said all that, the, mm -hmm. the hypocrisy from Hillary Clinton went out there today. You would have thought, I mean, you would have thought he was insulting her, her granddaughter. And, you know, I mean, it's like the indignance she showed over how inappropriate he is and totally and factually untrue what that questioner said. Quit impugning the integrity of the president. It is prejudiced. <laughs> it is discriminatory. Listen to what happened when Steve Croft asked her about this issue back in 2008. You don't believe the senator... Obama's a Muslim. Of course not. I mean, that's, you know, that there is no basis for that. You know, I take him uh, on the basis of what he says, and, you know, there isn't any reason to doubt that. And you said you take Senator Obama at his word that he's not right. a Muslim. You right. don't believe that he's a Muslim. No, I mean, no, why would I? Implying, There's no, right? no there, there is nothing to, to base that on, as far as I know. It's as far as I know. The, the New York Times called that one of the sleaziest moments of the campaign. Howie? 
it's uncomfortable to watch even now. So, of course, Democrats are piling on. A lot of the pundits that don't like Donald Trump are piling on. When I watch this moment, I was astounded by the way that Trump handled it. But what's equally surprising, Megan, is that he didn't do what he usually does afterwards, which is sail right into the media hurricane, call into a couple of morning shows, try to deflect or defend what he did and pivot to some new controversy. Instead, Trump put out a statement blaming the media. And that usually works for him because our ilk is not too popular with a lot of Americans. Not in this case, because people have seen that clip over and over and over again, and they can decide for themselves how Donald Trump should have handled that guy. And, and now, Howie, are we seeing a, a cowed Donald Trump, as some of the headlines today suggest, as he bailed out of this event tonight, cited some business reason that has not yet been produced uh, publicly. Um, and now we, we wonder why he didn't attend one of the important events of campaign 2016. I think for the first time in the campaign, you're seeing a Donald Trump who is off balance, who is sort of on the defensive over this. He doesn't want to reopen the past birther controversy because there are so many clips like the one you play where he's questioning whether the president was born in the United States. Obviously, we know he was born in Hawaii. And so I think they just haven't quite figured out how to deal with this. Hillary Clinton uh, came out tonight and said he's taking a time out. She suggested what he's doing tonight is taking a time out to think hard right. about what happened. Um, it's almost like she's accusing him of taking an unscheduled vacation. Oh. Uh, I got to go. See you guys. Oh. <laughs> also joining us tonight, Senator Marco Rubio, who just made some news on Donald Trump and his comments, plus Charles Krauthammer on the other big news that came out of South Carolina. Those two are next. And a 14-year-old Muslim student is arrested after bringing to school a mysterious electronic device that they said looked a lot like a bomb. Now, some on the left are blaming profiling and trying to make young Ahmed into a national hero. But wait until you hear what our guests have to say about it. And then we have a Kelly file investigation into the group that staged what was supposed to be a big charity event for vets, except this group is no longer a charity. And now folks are asking, what will happen to the money? CNN's investigative reporter broke this story last night. We did some digging on our own today. An endorsement from your group with so many veterans, hundreds of thousands of veterans. I really appreciate that, Joe. I did not expect it. 